Catholic business leaders in Washington, D.C. continue to discuss the role of faith in the business world. Lauren Ashburn sat down with a female entrepreneur who says her jewelry business is more about prayer and not just about selling products. Joining me now is Christine Rich, who is the CEO and co-owner of My Saint, My Hero. Tell us about your jewelry line. Well, um, most people, when they hear about our company, they think, oh, we're, we're using, we're selling, we're a jewelry company that is able to then share our faith. But really, we're so much more than that. It's, it's a mission. And it's something that, and it's really a vocation to, for myself and my partner, Amy D'Ambra, um, going beyond selling, but really, um, it's all about prayer. Well, that's what... E I, I had read that your company was founded on the belief that God is real, prayer works, and love heals. And how does that reflect in your jewelry? Well, every piece really is uh, created with intention. So it's created and out of inspiration, mostly out of prayer. And maybe not ours, but other people's prayers as well that have come to us with, with ideas. Originally, um, originally we, just, we had 12 saint medals and the inspiration was to share their virtue. Pick one word, make it easy for people to understand so that, so that they could understand that the saints were real people, that they walked this earth. I love the Mother Teresa piece, Saint Mother Teresa, I guess we could say. Um, tell us about that. We chose to pick one thing, which was very difficult because Mother Teresa says, has, you know, says so much that inspires people. Um, but again, in prayer, we chose just be the one which we felt that all markets, all faiths can understand. And it's just, you know, to be the one, you know, what she wanted to, to quench that thirst for Christ, but for, for maybe for the world to understand it a little better, to be the one that just makes a difference in somebody's day today. You have a contract or you appear on QVC and sell these, but they told you that you had to not mention God. What happened? Well, in the beginning, when somebody had brought our products to QVC, which they loved, they loved the aesthetic, they loved the beauty, they knew that their customer would love it. Um, but each of our pieces comes on a card, comes in a box, comes, you know, the gift of a blessing. So we want you to make sure to share this blessing. And so it has a message because it's hard for us to explain so many secrets of our faith. And they read these cards and they said, we can do this if we can do it without the card because it you know, has God right on the card or it has, talks about the same. And you said? And we said, we prayerfully declined. We prayerfully declined and it was beautiful because we were actually just going, leaving on a pilgrimage. So it was, it was easier you know, because there is that sting. When you have a business, we are a for-profit biz business. So um, it's difficult to make those decisions, but following, following our spiritual directors, following what we have been grounded in, thank God, our Catholic faith, um, we knew that was the right thing to do, and they came back to us. We were actually um, in Medjugorje. We were ready to start climbing Cross Mountain, and um, my partner just happened to have her cell phone on at the time, and we got a call from QVC saying, we've changed our mind. We think that you know we can do this. Wow, that is impressive. So the first time we were on there, I mean, we came off, she had sold out, and we were in tears, and everybody thought, oh, they're in tears, they're so excited, they sold out. And we looked at each other, and they said, you know, I said, they have no idea, we don't, it's not about selling out. You were just on air, and to this, you know, millions of people in the secular world talking about our Blessed Mother, talking about prayer, talking about God and the saints, and I mean, I could feel heaven exploding, it was so beautiful. Thank you so much for telling your story to our audience. Tell us how we can get your products. You can go to mysaintmyhero.com or you, we have about 2,000 boutiques across the country. So on our website, if you want to go now and you want to get to your store, which we love supporting all of our boutiques, we have boutiques and hotels and spas and, and gift shops, um, about 2,000 all across the country. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Christine Rich. CEO and co-owner of My Saint, My Hero. Thank you, Lauren. Thanks, Lauren, for that interview.